Hey, what's going on everyone? This week we're trying something different. Due to time constraints, I'll have to upload less often than I was last semester, so less than three videos a week. The long and short of it is I'm going to try out a new video format that takes major stories, rumors, leaks from the previous week and sums it into a video that's approximately five minutes or less. And so I'll kick it off here. The first thing I wanted to bring up is an article posted by Guru3D just this past Monday. They found someone on the Dutch Hardware.info forums that in fact found out that some of the lower end Pentiums from the KB Lake line of CPUs will have hyper threading and only an MSRP of around $70. This isn't some leak from some website that is being reported from a source that we only have now heard of either. You can look up these processors and take a look at the official Intel Arc pages and you'll see there that these CPUs will in fact have hyper threading. Now, there aren't too many big differences between an i3 and a Pentium other than, of course, hyper threading. So, will these CPUs perform at around the level of a Skylake or KB Lake i3? What incentive will there be to even buying an i3? And already, some video benchmarks are out showing exactly that. Random Gaming HD performed gaming benchmarks in GTA 5, Fallout 4, and The Witcher 3, and in each game, the new Pentium 4560 was on par with or only behind 10% the newest i3-7100, yet it will cost around $40 less. In relation to the G4400 though, blown out of the water. We're only now waiting on a release date. Our second store of the week is a quick one. Presumably, the GTX 1080 Ti was teased by Hardware Canucks as a brand new Gigabyte Aorus card, and according to Dimitri, the GPU core on this card is so new that he can't tell us, but it will be releasing very soon. What else could NVIDIA be releasing soon on a new core, especially as an extreme enthusiast card? But I'll throw in my bit of speculation and I would say it is in fact the 1080 Ti that NVIDIA has been sitting on this whole time and perhaps once Vega is showcased more openly it will drop to steal the spotlight much like the rest of the Pascal line. And lastly, a quick talk about Ryzen since I missed it. All Ryzen CPUs are confirmed to be unlocked. The Zen CPU architecture is expected to last 4 years. Ryzen will not be a paper launch because quote, we've done that before, we're not going to mess with it. Also, most AM4 motherboards will allow overclocking, meaning the X370, X300, and B350 chipsets. Everything I just said has official, legitimate sources which you can and should check out in the description for more in-depth explanations. But then, there is a rumored release date for early to late February for the Ryzen line of CPUs. Earlier this week on the 11th of January, news broke out that AMD's new Ryzen line of CPUs will likely release sometime in February before GDC. Apparently in AMD's session at GDC this year, this was found, quote, join AMD game engineering team members for an introduction to the recently launched AMD Ryzen CPU followed by advanced optimization topics. Straight off of the GDC website, which means the hype trains are already moving for many people. If previous leaks and statements from Intel are anything to go by, Zen will cause a disturbance in the CPU market for 2017. Source for that, I don't know, but I talked about it in a previous video. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the format, go ahead and check out some of my other videos, which are literally this, but around 2 minutes in length. Please comment down below on what you thought of the show this week. Any feedback will definitely be considered. Subscribe and like this video to show your support and again, thanks for watching, have a great day.